Okay, fall and, and winter time is when you harvest your country roots for their medical benefits. I had abundant leaves to harvest in the spring and the summer, and the butterflies and bees, I just couldn't believe how much they enjoy these flowers. But now fall is here, and I'm ready to harvest the roots. Okay, here it is December. We've had several frost and probably one light freeze, and I'm ready to harvest my comfrey. Now, this comfrey is in a pre pretty big pot. And if you're going to grow comfrey in pots, it really has to be pretty big because it gets, this is one plant. And I, ha I do have one, uh, some comfrey in the ground, but I've got several in pots because I have sandy soil and I have gophers. And I don't want to risk entirely losing my comfrey plants. So I've got some in pots, some in the ground, but the big disadvantage of such a big pot is I can't handle it. I tried to dip it over where I could harvest it and I couldn't do it. So I'm having my husband come out here with the tractor and he's gonna dump it out of the pot for me and wash it off so, so I can harvest it. I plan on uh, drying some of it and then some of it I'm gonna make new plants. Now he's trying to move this. Some uh, roots have grown into the ground so he's going to have to pull pretty hard to get them out because uh, comfrey roots do go. Yeah, there's really not, well, it almost like there's, there's too many in the ground. But he's going to get it in the bucket so that we can easily cut off, cut off the leaves, which I will uh, either put in the compost pile because it's really great for your compost pile, or else I'll mulch some of my other plants I'm not with sure. it. So and have it in the bucket, that way he can keep all the dirt in the bucket and move the dirt where we want it to be at. He's going to start cutting the leaves off. That'll make, make it much easier to get to the roots and get the roots out of all that dirt. You see this kind of pile, pile of leaves we have. And he's got it all, all cut back. And now, now he's ready to get in there and, and try and get the roots out. Here's some, um, let's see what we've got here. That's really stuck in there. It's going to take a lot of strength to get that out. Okay. See some of these roots I've got. You see, uh, see how big those are? We've got a, a lot of small feeder roots. But, uh, I'm all, he's going to get this cut open and I can get all my roots, roots from it. Well, look at all those great roots I'm going to have. And he's going to get the water hose and really clean, clean these roots off good where I can kind of get to it and see what I've got. Okay, now watch my next video to see how to propagate the country roots and how to dry the roots correctly. Now, this is one time you do not want to dry your herb hose. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. We are a small family farm, and we need your support to continue to make these videos and share natural healing remedies. Visit me at FamilyGuideToHerbs.com. Now, my channel name on YouTube is Carolyn Gibson Herbalist.